if you have been just recently hired and meron ka extra cash na you want to invest, let me share to you my investment journey. And also, I want to talk about an article from Greet.ph. It is entitled, 12 Best Investments for Millennials in the Philippines under 100,000 pesos. What I'll do in this video is I'll use yung article ng Greet.ph as the backbone story ng video na to. And because uh, 12 yung investments na yun, kaya lang apat lang yung may personal experience ako. So, dun sa apat na yun, I'll share to you my personal experience about doon. Then for the rest, I'll just share to you my thoughts and opinions about the rest. Okay, first let's start with learning a new skill. Obviously, if you're watching this YouTube video, you kind of realize na I invested learning on a new skill about making internet videos. I started back in summer of 2016. Hindi naman siya nag-start that I wanted to make a business out of it. Ang gusto ko lang mangyari noong time na yun is to make a video out of our Palawan trip. And it turns out, meron pala akong passion for storytelling. And yung platform ko is making a video. There are other skills that you can invest in like learning how to code, cooking, photography, writing, and etc. But what I would highly suggest is try mo muna lahat. Then eventually look for something that you'll find interesting. And if you're really passionate about it, magtiwala ka lang and you'll make something about it. Second on this list is AVUL. I got AVUL for myself way back in July of 2016. Obviously, it's from Sun Life, syempre. And it is my first sale as an insurance advisor. So, yung unang benta ko is for myself. Basically, what a VUL is, is a life insurance product that has investments linked to it. Sa madaling salita, insurance na may kasamang investment. So, 2-in-1 product na siya, but technically, it is an insurance product. So, my lesson from this is to get an insurance as young as you are as possible kasi mas mura pa yung premiums mo. There are VUL products na sobrang affordable. Minsan pa nga aabot siya ng 1,000 a month lang. But, for me, I would like to assess muna yung needs mo para lang na makuha mo yung tamang insurance value mo. Hindi porket mura, yun na yung tamang insurance para sa'yo. Another tip in getting a life insurance, it doesn't always need to be a VUL. Pwede traditional life insurance lang. Just make sure that yung kukunin mong insurance will cater what you need. Now, let's talk about mutual funds and UITF. So, for the formal definition of this product, I'll just pop it in the screen. So, for me, my basic definition of this investment products is pinagsama-sama yung pera ng mga investors, then there's a fund manager that handles that investment. So, almost the same naman yung MF and UITF. One key difference lang is mutual funds are offered by investment companies while UITF are offered by bank. Now, pag kakukuha ka ng MF or UITF, you'll be asked to answer a risk profiling questionnaire para ma-assess yung risk tolerance mo with regards to investing and also your time horizon kung gano'n mo katagal gusto na invest yung money mo. Now, para saan ba itong mga tanong na to? Yung mga sagot mo dun sa mga questions na yun will be the guide kung saan ilalagay yung fund mo. Generally, there are three kinds of funds. Namely, equity fund, balance fund, and bond fund. Now, for the sake of this video and just to simplify it, let's just say na Equity fund is for aggressive investor, balance fund is for moderately aggressive investor, and bond fund is for conservative investor. I'll rather do a separate video discussing more in-depth about these funds. Now, for my personal story with regards to these funds, is no March of 2015, I got my very first investment, which is a UITF from Security Bank, and it is under equity fund. I invested 20,000 pesos that time because I have gained extra money from selling shirts back in college. Then, for the mutual funds, I use yung online stockbroker ko to invest in mutual funds. Kasi ang daming options doon to choose from. Then, last year, I switched all my mutual funds to SLAMC directly. Moving on to stocks. So, this is where my stock market story begins. So, there was a time in 2017, uh, na-invite si Marvin Germo. He's a personal finance public speaker sa office namin, sa branch namin. And he discusses about technical analysis. And from that, I was inspired to invest in stock market. So after noon, nag-open agad ako ng uh, stock online brokerage account under COL Financial. So basically, what a stock market is, is it is a market where you could buy shares of publicly listed companies. So what you want to do is buy low, then sell high. Pero syempre, hindi naman ganun kadali yun. You should build a system na kung saan magiging profitable ka. You could do 
technical analysis or fundamental analysis or pwedeng mix ng both. Meron ako skill na na-improve ko that is because of stock trading that would be yung patience ko and the ability to be less emotional when making decisions. Okay, let's just run through dun sa ibang investments na wala pa akong personal experience. Yung next dito is micro lending and peer-to-peer -peer lending. And nakalagay dito is ang minimum investment is around 1,250 pesos. And I guess yung pinakamaganda dito, yung pros about peer-to-peer uh, -peer lending is wala kang masyadong ano, requirement. So, mas madali kang makapag-invest dito. But of course, there are cons. Like, hindi pa siya ganun ka-establish. So, yung risk siguro, yun lang naman yung cons dito. Pero if you're uh, malit na na may invest mo and parang okay ka sa risk and wala ka pa masyado mga IDs, mga papers na hinihingi ng banks. So, pwede mo itong i-consider. Next dun sa list nila ng investment na sinasuggest nila is small businesses. So, parang sinabi nila dito is yung minimum investment nila dito is around 5,000. Then, meron din silang uh, another article na 150 plus profitable small businesses. So, another link. I'll link it also down below or kung saan man dito. Sa show notes if meron man. Uh, sinabi din nila na pwede yung karaoke. Then, parang ito. Tips on starting small business in the Philippines. So, parang ano na lang. Uh, Naka-bullet. Find your passion. Do market research. Secure funding. Build a website. Network with other people. And consult experts. Next on the list is real estate investment. So, ang, ang sinay talaga nila dito is yung foreclosed properties. Meaning yung mga hindi na nabayaran ng mga nag-loan. So, parang kinukuha na ng banko to. So, ang minimum investment nila nakalagay dito is around 10,000 to 15,000. So, ayun. Uh, meron din sila dito ng list ng tips on buying foreclosed properties according to lamudi.com. So, again, nakabulit na lang. Know where to look. Get your financing ready. Attend property auctions. Inspect the property. Know your fees and taxes. So next on the list is cryptocurrency. So ito na intrigue ako dito before, pero hindi ko siya tinry kasi ah uh, yung bubble pa nun sobrang bilis to maas. So I wasn't really comfortable dun sa uh, galaw nung market nito. Obviously, yung pinakasikat dito is yung Bitcoin. Then yung tips nila in cryptocurrency investing is educate yourself, treat it as you would the stock market, invest in fund management platforms, use it to solve problems, crypto to money. I thought this is something na okay din na isa pa dun sa list nila is buy a website for passive income. So minimum investment 200 to 1000 dollars depending on the bid. So yun, meron din silang tips on buying a website, know the history, be familiar with the platform, demographic, traffic quality, maintenance cost, price. Next is forex trading. So medyo similar to sa pagte-trade ng stock market. Kasi ang nangyayari dito is for per uh, currency ng bansa pwede mong i-trade trade 'yon. So tips on forex trading is choose a broker wisely. Choose a methodology and be consistent in application. Choose your entry and exit time carefully. Perform weekend analysis. Practice makes perfect. Next on their list is angel investing. So ito naman venture capitalist in private equity. So ito naman up uh, for parang nag-invest ko sa mga startup. So kasi yung mga startup, mga small business 'yon na parang may idea sila na gusto nilang gawin turn into business then they need capital then dito you'll be the one to fund yung business nila. So minimum investment dito na nakalagay is 50,000 pesos. So ito medyo complicated na to but just check the article that is linked down below. So tips wala nila. Uh, have a deep understanding of what it takes to run a business. Connect with angel investors and the VCs in the country. Invest in something you're familiar with. Don't go all in. Develop an investment game plan. Try investing with a partner. So that's all for, for it. Then ito, this is something new. Parang last year lang ata or two years ago. So ito yung PERA. PERA stands for Peronal Equity and Retirement Account. So parang 401k siya sa states. 
So, para siya sa retirement ng mga nagtatrabaho dito sa bansa natin. So, yun na lahat yung 12 investments na nakalagay dun sa article nila. Obviously, this video is inspired by the article of Geet.ph entitled 12 Best Investments for Millennials in the Philippines Under 100,000 Pesos. So, ayun, go check their blog. Hindi ko akalain na up to this day may ma-appreciate pa akong blog kasi feeling ko it's a dead parang content but they proved me wrong. Magaganda yung sinulat nila ng articles. Uh, meron din sila about credit cards, about SSS, PhilHealth, mga loans. So, sobrang ganda nung mga articles na sinulat nila doon. So, go check them out. Link down below or somewhere dito sa show notes if meron man. Lastly, try everything while you're young. Then, gamitin mo lahat na natutunan mo from that experience to focus on an investment na tingin mo you'll be passionate about and you'll do for the long run. Good luck investing. Bye!